few levels, you, you can just close the gap. We saw it yesterday being played too. Uh, you can outdo him in the first few levels. Eventually, not need to make their way out of the base. In the mid lane. Yeah, Victor, if he has the lane prior very early, has very easy. Think about that play. It works if the enemy is not running cleanse because you trade flash for flash and you can just visit again later when he's playing this breath. Looking for this split push. It's going to be much more difficult if Cabo continues to suffer in these exchanges. Yeah, and if that's going to be a exactly where G2 want to be, and we've seen how quickly they can snowball uh, again. Cabo. Ah, uh, he got it this time. <laughs> I'm a little bit of a sociopath. Let I just I prefer that's why I refer to it as action. It's not violence, it's action. Meet in the bottom of the map a lot sooner, maybe a first, second tower, but now we're going for the extended base. So still have spider wings on it. They are gonna be able to break the tower. This is a weird game that we're so excited about. Oh, right and now Mist Whitlane is under siege too by the rise. We see some people basing it, so they're not going for the early inhib. G2 already backing here. Because the slower top lane pushes. The more room for action on the other side of the map here, but Mithy's oh, actually going aggressive. The snare. Mighty Bear flash away, still gets locked down. Kasing here with the tongue to back him up. GP coming in. Mithy is gonna have to flash out from the stun. Ulti from the Jin. Cabo moving forward. Mithy's only level four. First blood. <laughs> and this plays in what we were just saying, right? What is Vitality going to take to the party? Because the communication just isn't there. It's a rough life, and of course, first blood may not give too much. Outmatches them. So, in a sense, this is a smart adaptation from Vitality. They just need to make sure that they don't lose too much on the bottom side here. This is the most extended lane swap. Inhibitor tower, Sven and Mithy already in the mid lane. G2 are taking control of the map. And this G2 now running down to get control of this vision. Perk's running in. Police is in trouble. That's not where you want to be. Oh, flash out. Yo, Moose. Perks. Kasing on the way. Tom oh. Kench is going to say nope. Looking for the snare. Is going to get locked down. Perks actually suddenly in trouble. Flash over the wall from Nuke Dog. Perks going to drop. What a turnaround. Not the end of the world, but as these start to stack, it's going to make it easier and easier for Vitality to respond across the map. Yeah, the one thing about Cloud though, they're moving into the mid lane. They are going to be able to break down this tower, start to extend that gold advantage despite giving lane. Matched up against Cabo, but the rest of G2 now moving up to the top side of the map. Defiance used, chasing down Nuke Duck. He's really caught out here. Snare going to drop. Perks gets pulled into the center, but Nuke Duck is set to fall. Gnar on the way into the fight. Cabo, he has the Mega, but can he get it out? Hopping through, trying to get Perks. Good flash. Police locks him down and picks up the kill. Alt comes out. Will it be the curtain call for G2? Are they going to drop? Just uh -oh, going to be. Because G2 back, and suddenly, out of nowhere, after all this kind of patience and posturing around, G2 finally finds it around the Baron Pit, but Perks. He still has that TP. He walked his way up into mid lane last time, and now he's looking for the flank. Nuke Duck caught out and again. Liver die by Nuke Duck. The Vitality mantra costing them so much as he gets dropped. The rest of Vitality there on Baron, but Expect goes into the team. Police caught up. Kasing to save the day. Cabo, he has the Meganar, but will it be enough? Mighty Bear in the back of the pit. Expect moving forward. Trick the double Korean squad hunting down as Kasing will fall. Cabo almost out. Perks suddenly in the back. Police, he's going to drop two. G2, massive advantages, exposing the weak. And now it's super easy for G2 to close out this game. Absolutely. Baron buff empowering them. Amazing wave clear on their team. And a constant here. But it's so sad for me to see this. This game delivered almost nothing of value. There was no place to be made because they get stronger on each and individual lane. They can just peel back. They don't need to take any risks. These canopies will do most of the work. Slows out with Baron buff. I mean... You're saying it and we're watching it happen. One inhibitor falls, the next one's set to fall. Yeah, it's just like we're watching that. So... And they're just backing off. Once again, Vitality conceding the last inhibitor. G2, they're gonna end the game here. Vitality, I... If this is a slow game. Vitality may be looking to turn it around. But suddenly, G2 just take control and they're going to end. I mean, Vitality aren't even fighting. They finally pick a fight and it's too little too late. Three members of G2 are on the Nexus. Nothing is left for Vitality. And when they hesitate, it costs them everything as they drop in game one. Yeah, this game, and still the cameraman is surprised every time. <laughs> no, uh, this game was a sour taste in my mouth, honestly. Vitality, yeah, I just like, felt like they didn't come to play here. They had... Honestly, not a bad composition. I like what they brought to the table. 4-1, CJ mid. If somebody gets caught, you can top catch them out. Every single...